All right, I have got a new project I'd like to show everyone today. This is called the Garden of the Wills. Uh, this place is several thousand years old, Old Republic. Uh, it is a, uh, a place where Jedi would go to meditate, learn. It is on the uh, jungle planet of Akiva. It's featured in the Aftermath book. Um, and what we have here is basically, this has got a story behind it. Uh, this, uh, this is a squad of Mon Calamari Marines, uh, and also have the Star Wars character Loku Kanaloa. He's a sniper, Mon Cala. Um, and uh, as uh, this squad of Marines is moving through Akiva's jungles, uh, trying to root out the last of the Imperials as they uh, flee the system. Uh, they come across this place that's been abandoned that uh, the Imperials hadn't known about, no one knew about for the longest time. Uh, and they have got Loku contacting Commander Skywalker since they were both on Hoth together. Uh, and Loku just happened to be here, and, uh, so he knew exactly who to call. So there he is with the... Uh, I uh, got the hologram pulled up of Luke, talking to him. Luke gets down here, uh, and, and the, obviously the Monkai Marines move on to what they have to do. Uh, Luke walks in, and you can see uh, this place at one time had uh, was, was a little bit larger. Um, yeah, this section was mirrored over here. It's obviously deteriorated, uh, falling apart. It's been abandoned for so long, even before Yoda's time. Um, back at Old Republic times that it's just falling on itself, deteriorating badly. Uh, you can see where uh, the ceiling's caved in. Uh, it's just dripping with water. Uh, there's there's mice and snakes and stuff in here that's kind of taken up shop. Uh, right when you walk in, there's still a kyber crystal uh, that acts as a force conduit for this whole garden. Uh, right there as you walk in. Uh, over here on the wall, got the ancient uh, Jedi Order symbol. Well, obviously a lot of stuff growing, algae hanging down, waters, plants, and vines and stuff growing on the walls. Uh, more falling in. The, the walls are falling down, the ceiling's falling down. Uh, just really, really overgrown, right? You can see where, like I said, everything was mirrored over here. Parts and pieces have fallen down with the, uh, the same artwork that was over here was over here. Now there's trees growing up into it and everything else. Uh, and you come out here to the garden area uh, from the small inner chamber there. Uh, there was once two walkways into here. One here, one here. It's just collapsed. Uh, and then as you come into the garden... The first thing that a visitor into the garden will see where some of the trees are still there. Some, some ancient trees have fallen and given way to new growth. Uh, but first thing as you walk in, you see this grand statue of a Jedi. Uh, more or less intact, except of course the, uh, the weaker portions of the stone, have, like the lightsaber here, has fallen into this. This uh, pool of now stagnant, nasty water just sits tropical planet. Uh, lots of trees, lots of wildlife uh, in here. And you can see as well that at one time it was stone paved and uh, over time mud and dirt and everything have, has kind of washed out a lot of the, the paving there, the paver stones, and it's kind of just uh, left to be a mess. So no one's tended to it for a long time. So Luke goes in here and Luke knows a good bit about the Jedi Order. He is a Jedi Knight, of course, having faced Vader. This is immediately post-Endor, just the months after Endor. Luke's going around scrambling, trying to find information about the Jedi Order, the Sith Order, uh, just scrambling. He's been to Pilio. He's coming here now because Loku Kanaloa pointed this place out to him, and he notices that there's still uh, some holocrons. There's three Jedi holocrons. Uh, right here uh, in two of three these little hollow out areas that uh, were obviously display places for Jedi knowledge once a couple of them are still intact 
Uh, and as he's there, he's wondering, holocrons, you know, what do I do with this? What is this? And he, uh, all of a sudden, Yoda appears to help him with that because Yoda and Luke never really talked about holocrons. Yoda obviously didn't have any on Dagobah. Uh, and that wasn't, uh, they didn't have time to fit that into Luke's training, of course, before he uh, ran off and during Empire Strikes Back to go meet Vader. And then obviously he comes back to visit him in front of the Jedi and Yoda passes into the Force, of course, so there wasn't much time to talk about it, but Yoda obviously comes back periodically and talks to Luke throughout his life and uh, helps him to try to rebuild the Order. So here's Yoda, Force goes Yoda, uh, appearing to Luke, explaining holocrons to him and what they mean, and as Luke asks, what is this place? And Yoda is able to tell him it's the Garden of the Wills, but that he never went there and that it had been lost to the Jedi uh, for thousands of years, uh, that he knew of it but did not know where it was, and uh, very happy with Luke that he was able to find it again. Uh, so Luke's going to get uh, what knowledge he can from this place and then um, and move on. So I'm thinking about making this kind of a series of, of Luke's post-indoor travels. Uh, after the second Death Star is gone, um, kind of moving into the Mandalorian series era, uh, but before the Jedi, the new Jedi Academy that he tries to uh, create. Um, so that's, that's my goal with this is to make kind of a little mini series with this. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, spent a couple weeks designing and building this. I just, I really like the, the subtropical, tropical feel, the, the idea of an abandoned garden. I love the, the notion of Jedi statues like we had in, on Jeddah and Rogue One. I just, I just love that. The, the, the mysticism and the, um, the power that the Jedi Order had at one point, and now it comes down to just Luke. Obviously, you've got Ahsoka still running around, but she doesn't call herself a Jedi at this point. Um, you got a few others, but Luke's basically it. He is the Jedi Grandmaster at this point, and he's on his own. Uh, so, <clears throat> Yoda, him, Lor Santeca, and uh, whoever else he can get uh, on his team as he moves along here will investigate that, but... Uh, let me know what you think about this. Uh, the beach, the entrance here, the plants. Uh, I tried to add some, some detail. Uh, the water dropping here, splashing onto the floor, the, the ruins, the rubble, the garden. I really spent a lot of time on the garden with the plants. I just, I don't know what Lego, Lego plants are just the best. I just, they're able to really bring a piece to life. I, when I built just the structure itself, it was very, very bland. But after I added the, the ivy, the moss, the, the ferns and plants and, and bushes and shrubbery and stuff, it just really, really came to life. It really came to life. Well, this has been a very exciting mock to build. Um, hope you appreciate seeing it as much as I appreciated creating it. Thank you.